I, I mean, several moments in this game we want to get your thoughts on, but you, I guess we can start with the officiating tonight. Um, from where we're sitting, it seemed a little frustrating, maybe a, a safe word. Yeah, I was, I was frustrated. I felt like the standard was of what's a foul, what's not a foul was off, and I felt like that was consistent for the night. So sometimes it happens, and I felt like it happened tonight. Was there any discussions with at least the fourth official, at least, on some of those calls? Um, maybe some of the, the the early yellow card for Caceres seemed to be like a normal foul there, and then that leads up to the, the second card that he gets that sends him off. Yeah, I'm, I'm, was there any discussion? Not really. Um, it was more, I think, me saying my piece and then me just being appeased, but not really a discussion about anything. And I think, to be fair, some of my frustration probably didn't warrant sometimes a discussion, but there was times when it certainly did, but there wasn't a, there wasn't gonna be a, uh, an answer or a justification or a anything on, on the situation. I just felt like, and it wasn't, I don't know if it was major calls, major moments. May, I didn't see the, the, the third goal on, uh, on J-Mac there, I didn't see what happened. I felt like um, he was definitely in his space. The question was, was the contact, contact before? I didn't see it. But I just felt like the, f like the flow of the game. They're a pressing team, and they get in your space, and they get in your face. And I've said this forever, and I'll say this to everyone. If, there is, if the standard of a foul is off when you play these teams that are in your face and, uh, and up your back and grabbing you from behind and doing all that stuff, then it's going to be a tough t for the team that wants to have possession and wants to play. That's one of the reasons I think it's kind of hard to do what we do in our league sometimes is to want to have the ball and want to manipulate the opposition because you can have nights like tonight where, you know, if the opposition takes risk and no fouls called, you can be on the wrong side of something really quick. And, uh, you know, I felt like the standard was just a little bit off tonight. But again, that can happen. Uh, I felt like it happened tonight. It's my opinion. Um, others can have their own opinion. Uh, having said that, we missed we missed Andor Berkey made a bunch of great saves, and we missed some great chances. We shouldn't it shouldn't even have been in the game, honestly. In my opinion, we should have buried uh, enough of our chances because they were really good chances. They weren't just kind of good chances; they were really good chances, and we didn't bury them. Uh, Dan had multiple that um, he wasn't able to finish on the night. Again, sometimes Berkey made great saves. Sometimes we headed it against the crossbar from four yards away, like. Um, just a lot of really good chances. They're, they're a tough team to play. They, they, they make it difficult on you because they're super committed in the press and the defensive side and they work hard. Um, but as you saw, that can also open up some gaps that we took advantage of and some space in behind that, that Joseph took advantage of. Um, but we didn't, we didn't punish them when we got into those spots enough. Uh, and having said that, we still scored three goals, but we didn't punish them enough. I think there was six or more in there for us tonight if we are clinical. Hey, Greg. Um, I got a couple for you. Um, first off, maybe talk a little bit about what Martin did at the end, kind of sacrifice himself for a result. Um, and yeah, let's just start with that. And, and, and off of that, um, as you say, a game that you guys should have scored a few goals, it shouldn't have been a game, to come back and get the, the winning goal or the uh, decisive goal in stoppage time, does it make it feel a little bit like a win? Um, first, let's talk about Martin. He's a warrior, first and foremost, and he is, um, obviously, he's been around the block a time or two, and he's dealing with a guy with a lot of speed and a lot of pace and a lot of power, and he could just, he, he knew he could take no chance and the guy getting by him if we were going to end that play, and so he had to sacrifice himself for it. I felt like Maya should have grabbed him earlier, and that would have saved uh, Martin, uh, because Martin already had the yellow. Um, but Martin did what he had to do, and it was professional, and um, and it probably saved saved us a bit there. Uh, as far as the team coming back, I look. I'm I'm proud of them for fighting back and getting the equalizer and staying in it and keep putting things in dangerous positions and getting it. That's did it feel like a win? No, it still doesn't feel like a win. I think it uh, it felt a little bit like. Um, Kind of a draw, I guess. Um, but I felt like when you leave so many opportunities on the table, and again, they, they weren't for me, they're not half opportunities. These are really good opportunities, you know? Like, 
again, of there's three more of those that have to hit the back of the net. And I know Berkey's a really good, good goalkeeper. I think he's one of the best in our league. But they were maybe just a little bit too much in his wheelhouse for him to be able to make those saves. And they need to be a little bit more tucked in the corner or a little bit better uh, finished. Um, but certainly he had a good night, and, and we weren't uh, we weren't clinical enough. And, and just to, I guess, confirm, Martins was a straight red at the end, wasn't it? I mean, that's a last, it, it appeared, that's it a appeared, last man. Yeah, it appeared to be yeah. that. I thought he played the ball, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> um, we saw, and, and we've seen a little bit of this in, in all of the games so far, we, we're seeing some giveaways at times in areas where you don't want to be giving the ball away. And I know you guys are looking for possession and you want to play out of the back, but in terms of balancing that risk factor with yeah, needing it, to Scott, get it can't happen. It can't happen. It's happening too much, and it can't happen, and it makes us vulnerable. Uh, it's something we've talked about all through preseason that, you know, we we can't force plays through the middle of the field. Every team in the league knows that that we want to try to combine in the middle of the field and we have the tendency to over combine, especially these teams that press and are aggressive and are going to get in your space and they're going to take a risk to come through you and to to get really tight when you you overplay these things. You can get tackled. You can get things rebounded off of you. There's a lot of things that that um, just can't. They just can't happen. The vast majority of our success can, tonight came when we built off of the outsides and we got them in their rotations and uh, and pulled them apart and ran through the channels and and opened them up and then squared the ball back across. That's where the vast majority of them it didn't it didn't come. That means you still have to use the middle of the field, but the middle of the field is to connect you to each of the sides. You don't need to play straight through the middle of the field. They're asking for big problems. So. Uh, it would be something we continue to harp on and discuss and make sure that we are more mindful of. Hey, Greg, is it is it fair to say the defense overall in, in the game played okay? I mean, you gave up two set-piece goals, and yeah. then there's the giveaway in the middle with, with yeah. Edwin and, and, and Ricky. So is the defense sort of coming along in the way that you have expected so far, and especially in this game? Yeah, I've been, to be fair, I've been pleased with our defending for most of the year. We haven't, you know, we've kept our... Expected goals pretty low, except for, you know, last week it was a ball we chest down in the box and a penalty after um, after a very good effort to recover then turns into a penalty out of nothing. And, you know, teams are going to get chances, but I feel like we've limited the chances outside of those, a few of those moments. The set pieces certainly tonight caused us a problem. Uh, we knew that coming in. They're a big team and they'll put balls in on top of the goal and, uh, you have to be able to defend set pieces against these guys. Uh, we didn't do that well enough tonight. But I, I do I do think that the defending um, has been solid and has been better, but you got to eliminate it's, – it's about all moments. It's not just about, you know, those moments. Thanks for your time, Greg. Good. Oh, yeah. right. Thank you. And now we'll be joined by 